The story begins with Peter Parker once again being bitten by a radioactive spider on his school field trip. He then manifests the same powers, however he never considered fighting crime right away. Instead, opportunities presented themselves in ways to make money and showmanship. We then learn that money has always been tight for Peter as he was living with Uncle Ben and Aunt May. He had an opportunity to make real money with this, but with no sense for justice at the moment and his eyes on money, he let a robber get away from him. That robber would later be the same person who would end the life of Uncle Ben. After learning about this, Peter immediately ran to the warehouse where the robber was hiding. Peter was able to confront the robber, and since this is the first time he was in any real danger his spidey senses were awakened. He was able to easily disarm the robber, but in his anger he ends up killing the robber and tries to stop a journalist from taking a picture, but fails so we see that the news story is published on the Daily Bugle giving him the moniker The Punisher. Peter vows that he wants no more innocent victims like Uncle Ben if he has the power to prevent it. Thus, began his crime-fighting career where he would go on to fight against the Sinister Six. During his fights with the Sinister Six, he realized that they were continuing to come back each time with more vigor causing more damage and danger to the people. This made him realize that the only solution would be to permanently get rid of them, leading him to craft bullets that would be able to take them out like incendiary bullets to turn Sandman into glass. After defeating the villains and crime going down, he would go on to go to college and meet his girlfriend, Gwen Stacy. However, the final villain that continued to escape his grasp was the Green Goblin who wrecked havoc on the city. Eventually, he was able to defeat him, but realizing that it was his best friend's dad behind the mask, he couldn't bring himself to end Harry's dad's life. That was until the Green Goblin took a hold of Gwen Stacy and held her off the Golden Gate Bridge, dropping her, forcing Peter to kill him and save Gwen at the same time. After saving Gwen and seeing how important she was to him, he realized that it was more important that he made her happy than it was to fight crime, ripping up and throwing away his suit to go live a happy life with Gwen. This story is from the What If series and is titled What If Peter Parker Became the Punisher released in 2018. This will be linked in the description. Thank you for watching, and let me know if there is another story you want me to cover.